I am here to talk to you about how to create uh, Google slide seeding charts. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is um, come up to file and you can see that I've set mine up to landscape here. Um, you just go file page setup and change it from the default to custom 11 by 8.5 will give you the typical landscape setup. Um, the second thing that you're going to want to do, what I've done here, you can see that if I click on the background that these tables don't move. So what I've done is um, in PowerPoint, I have created um, an image which I'm using as the background. Um, so the setup of my room typically doesn't change. I have seven different table groups set up like so. Um, and because the student names are drag and drop moving pieces. I didn't also want the tables themselves to be movable because that can become problematic when you go to grab a student and move them real quick. Um, so you can absolutely just um, set up your tables as shapes within uh, the Google slide, but even better is if you ac have access to a program like PowerPoint um, or even really quickly you could also um, give yourself a new slide here and you could use the shapes within Google Slides to set up your table groups and then um, you can come here file download as a PNG image and then when you want to create your um, background all that you have to do then is come up to background and you are going to um, come to choose image and navigate to wherever you saved that PNG image, either from PowerPoint or from your Google Slideshow. So that brings you to um, what I have here, and it gives you a nice background that is fixed in place and can't be moved. Um, and you might want to also include um, like the front of the room and the door and any other features that you'd like to have on your seating chart. And then what I do is I, um, I have one of these for each of my five classes and um, I go to entering the students. Now um, at the beginning of the year you have to do the work of entering the students' names, but what's nice is um, you only have to do that one time. So, so you can see here that I have set up uh, my little students for my first class at different table groups. You can also see here that I have um, color coded certain students and those codes mean or those colors mean something to me. Um, and you can have as many colors as you like. You can even turn um, students different colors based on different projects that they might be working on, etc. You can also see here, that after each student's name I have either a letter or a number and that corresponds to my cell phone caddy so that um, when I print these um, seating charts out or if I look at them online I can really quickly remember who is which number and um, see whose phone may be missing back there. Um, so how I go about creating the students uh, boxes is I just come up here real quick like I showed you before with the tables um, and you can create the shapes and you can fill it with whatever color you like and you just right click edit text to enter a student name and whatever other information you like. You can get kind of fancy here and play around with the border as well and the border color. Um, so you can do some different things there uh, which is nice. So then once I have all the students entered Kind of off to the side here, what I'll do is I will drag and drop them to the appropriate table, mix them up, and um, then rinse and repeat for the next classes. Um, so that's basically what I do. And what's also nice here is this is my first set of seating charts this year, but what you can do in version history is you can name the current version. So I might title this seating chart and hit save and now when I go to the virgin history I can see version history 
Um, and as I switch the students up throughout the year, if I ever want to, um, as I'm creating new seating charts, take a quick look back at past seating charts and student groupings so that they aren't always sitting by the same people, I am able to do that, which is rather nice. So I hope that this has helped you kind of get a sense for how easy it is to create student seating charts in Google Slides. And um, obviously what I love about it is that you can just literally drag and drop students around and um, go on your merry way instead of spending a lot of time um, recreating from scratch your seating chart. So I hope this has been helpful. Mm -hmm.